So I used to dread going to work when it was raining or cloudy or pretty much going to work at all because I didn't want to be out in the elements. Find out what's important about weather girls and why you need to know a little bit about their backstory. So hey, this is Kyla Denanya. Welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. Today we are talking about a book that really surprised me. I wanted to just hear about the weather and there was a really cute cover on the book and we got into all this really heavy stuff. So let's get into the book called Weather Girl. So this book was written by Rachel Lynn Solomon and I really liked the book. I didn't quite know what to expect because when it started there was a really long disclaimer about mental health issues and depression and I, I was like, I don't understand. This book had a cute cover. It was a couple, you imagine they were kissing behind an umbrella. And I was like, it was cute. What, you're starting off heavy. But it was really, really good. So what the author said in the prologue was that, hey, I started to write this book about a weather girl. We took a left and started talking about all these heavy issues and I wasn't expecting it, but I kept it in because it's real. Enjoy the book. And I'm like, I'm intrigued, let's, let's go, let's get into it. So the genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is romance, situational comedy, and it was just all around cute. So I do wanna shout out the characters in the book. There was a person named Elodie, great. <laughs> the cutest character ever. I wanted to go hang out with Elodie. I wanted to know what the story was after the book. I wanted to know what happened to Elodie in 10 years. Elodie I thought was the star of the book and then there was also Russell there was Ari there were there were other people but I really liked Elodie that was my favorite so an important plot twist in the book is when the mom switched and got her life together so the story is there's a weather girl she meets someone they start to date she was really frustrated that she had been depressed in life no one seemed to really understand besides her brother and now we progress through the story and we find out that she grew up with a mother who also was going through issues and making all these really bad decisions and the daughter kind of felt like she was alone she felt like it was she and her brother and it was the two of them against the world so there is a, a change in the story where the mom comes back into their life has reformed and kind of dealt with a lot of the issues that she's had and the main character Ari has this conversation where she's like mom why couldn't you get it together for us and that was a really important twist in the story because I feel like that's a sentence that almost every kid that's felt abandoned or that's felt lonely or alone and growing up or felt like they had to raise themselves has wanted to have with their parents like why couldn't you make the change for us why are you making the change now that we're grown and so the reason that this plot twist was really important to me is that you hear people say oh I'm depressed or oh I was I was depressed at that time or oh just a little depression but for the character in the book she was clinically depressed she was on medication she had a therapist she had a doctor who had said she was depressed she was in treatment so that was a lot different than just having a rough day or not wanting to get out of bed or not wanting to get wet when you go into the office right it was a lot more to it so i really appreciate what the author did in introducing these situations and telling the truth about what you don't see on tv there's news anchors there's weather people there's sports people you have no idea what they're going through in their lives and in this case you have a bubbly sunny weather girl who is clinically depressed and dealing with these issues whenever they're not on tv sometimes when they're on tv but with the assistance of medication sometimes just powering through because it's their job so the book was really good and even though it had a cutesy cover and i was like oh this will be fun it actually ended up being a lot deeper than i was anticipating but it was it was really good Lastly here, would I reread the book? It was really cute, but it was, it was, no. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a reason, but I, I truly don't have to have one. I would not reread it, but I did enjoy reading it. That was today's explanation of the book, Weather Girl, for Kyla's reading day. Thank you for watching this far. Let me know if you've read the book or read anything from the author, Rachel Lynn Solomon, or let me know if you're reading any kind of fiction books right now. I, I'd love to hear about it. So leave me a comment, let me know what you're reading, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. This was Kyla's Reading Day.